Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, in the last video, I built the, um, I had built the um, power plants. So now we have electricity. And in this video, I have built quite a bit more and we'll be uh, going through some of the stuff that I've built. Um, it doesn't look that different from here, but there is uh, quite a bit of difference. So let's just go down. And I haven't really been working on the upper plate. I've mostly been working on the lower plate. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what we'll see when we get there. Um, but for now, just landing here as usual. So I built this. So one of these, as you can see, the the uh, right one, uh, that's water. The left one is oil, and the middle one is just nothing at the moment. But it's a massive, massive pipeline coming in. Um, the middle one's gonna come in from the right, while the two left ones are coming in. Yeah, from the left, really. The, the left and right one coming from the left. We'll take a look at that once we get down there. So, um, oh yeah, it's kind of funny that the flyer just flies straight through. It's just, it's weird. Regardless, <clears throat> so this is the first train station. Uh, the second one is under construction, as um, as you can tell, and it's gonna look uh, fairly similar. So we'll go down here. We'll look at this first, though, just to to show off. So this uh, is water. All this is just water. So what I did was I made the water go underneath the plate, all the way over there, because we need the water in those things. Uh, we'll talk about the, that once we get there. We're almost there. Uh, I'll just show off here, because as you can see, there are some railroads going underneath. Underneath. Uh, we'll talk about those. The left one is not really done yet. Um, but I feel like I'm at a point where I can uh, show off what, what what I'm doing, so to speak, where I'm at. And I just wanted to show, because I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's pretty neat. Um, so I wanted to go from the left, but I figured we'd want to have the water, like, there, where it is now, and not, like, further in. So I decided to empty out here in the middle. And I just haven't built uh, on the other side. There we go. I can just fill that out real quick. For some reason it's messed up. Anywho, there we go. So now we have this here where it can go underneath over here. And it feels kind of pointless to make it go back up if we're going to make it go down again later. Uh, Autosave is getting a bit sluggish because of all the stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways. So yeah, as I was uh, saying, uh, moving back into the uh, into the build, um, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere for sure. Um, we'll see what we'll have in the middle. It might just be a type of gas. We might bring in some more oil because we might need some more um, plastic and such. Uh, just have some more plastic uh, production. While we're here, we might as well take a look down here. So I have a plan for the left side as well, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we can go up here in the middle. We're going to be riding the train down here later, but, you know, it's kind of cool to walk here. It, it looks really cool, I think. It's a nice little uh, tunnel. Uh, it's hard to get the railroad to look good outside. I might uh, start working on it a bit more, making it look a bit better uh, after recording this video. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. You'll get to see it uh, sooner or later. So here we go. So all of these ores are transported over into a storage container which then is transported over, and then it's transported over into refineries that take water and ore. Um, as it turns out, the refinery is not that fast when it comes to Caterium, so we're better off just having two smelters, really. It's just, yeah, uh, we don't really gain much from that. So it's all hooked up, really. I mean, it's, it's not hooked up, but it's ready to be hooked up. That's what I'm trying to get to. And then once we have the ingots. The ingots are moved into storage containers. And then from the storage containers, they go into these constructors where they are turned into different things. For instance, this one turns copper ingots into sheets. And this one turns them into wire. And then we have iron ore, which is turned in. Oh, I mean, iron ingot that we turn into screws and we turn into more screws, you know, two for each material, basically. Uh, iron rods, iron rods. I think these two are plates. Yeah. 
And then eventually they just end up here. I had to build around that. That's why they're a bit further away from the machines than I would have wanted. And like I said, the idea is to then put them through more construction to make more complex materials. And eventually when they're like as complex as we can make them without really combining them more, then, you know, we need to. Like some of the more complex materials need a lot of the very complex stuff. So this, so the idea is to make simple crafting down here and then ship it up to the upper plate to do advanced crafting there, like uh, machines and turbo motors, etc., etc. Stuff like that, that's really just like, takes a lot of space to build on its own, where we need to bring together them. Like for instance, um, I'll just uh, showcase here. For instance, there are things that require, let's say, uh, copper sheets and... Um, screws and maybe some plastic so it's good to have everything like gathered because that way we can just like like that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to build all of the resources to send them up to the plate together so we don't have to like for instance um after here we can't we could draw one cable in the uh, well, um conveyor belt from this container to a, a thing where we drag from this container etc etc but it would be a mess it would be a massive, massive mess, all of it. Just a big old uh, spider's web of um, of them, uh, the conveyor belts. So I've decided against that. That's why we want to do that on the upper plate. Because there we can make it a bit more organized. So then we have this. I mixed um, then and so. <laughs> and then we have the train. So the train has the idea, of course, that it's going to go here to this platform. And then it's going to go to Calm, which is named after a uh, place that's fairly close to Midgar in Final Fantasy VII. So it goes down here. This is very neat, in my opinion. I think the game might be muted. Um, then we go out here. It doesn't really matter. There isn't much sound in the game as, except for just like loud noises. So I, I think it's probably fine. I tend to have it muted so I can listen to music and stuff, so I forget to unmute it. Anyways, um, so far so good. The um, the rail looks pretty good, but down here you can really tell like it's it's not looking good at all. I, I might rework it a bit after uh, after recording this video. If I do, I'll probably show it again. Um, freaking saving it takes so long. It is capable of going all the way though, which is really nice. And here we go, we're almost there. And here it is. It's not huge, it's just a building with, a, with its own train station essentially. Uh, we want to turn off uh, self-driving, otherwise the, tr the train will leave without us. <laughs> and we don't want that. So There we go, turn off self-driving. And then we have this area here, we, where we have basically the same setup. We have some storage containers to manage overflow. We have all of these um, conveyor belts going into them. And of course, this thing, which, I mean... I tried to get it out of here earlier, but it wouldn't. It, it just wouldn't. I literally killed it, and it's just back. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, th there really isn't much to see here, aside from this building itself. Because, um, yeah, it doesn't look great, but it gets the job done. We get a lot, get a lot of materials. It's pretty neat. Um, and I think this might be the first time they're using the uh, flat roofs. I'm just going to... Uh, charge the thing there we go um, so as you can see here we have these roofs these slanted roofs and then we have flat roofs up here I don't think I've ever used them before I was contemplating painting them but uh, oh, these are in the wrong direction whatever who cares <laughs> anyways so that's basically it so the train goes over here it loads up all of these sweet minerals then it goes back 
Let's see here. It's going to try to load up even though we're already full. But it's pretty cool. They're doing it in unison. It's it's neat. It's a cool animation. And I'm building something fairly similar on the other place, uh, which is not done yet. It's far from done. Um, there we go. And here we leave. So I'll show on the map. This is where I'm building the other thing. This is where I have my oil and stuff that we ship all the way back through the um, through the thing, all the way out back here. Um, and up here is where we're going to have the train going all the way from here up there. I'm almost done. I think the train goes to here at the moment. Um, but since the area isn't done yet, I just kind of stopped building the uh, the track there because I figured we'll finish up the uh, the actual station first and then uh, I do have some ideas on where to put the other one I think around here or here yeah yeah yeah. I do have one here actually we might use that one but it's very far away um, so it does take a while for the resources to you know go back and forth but regardless, um, I think it look it's looking pretty good so far. We're uh, we're we're getting stuff done. We're uh, doing progress. It's cool. Um, I went and built some more uh, power just in case. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, the idea is for the train to just go back and forth here, just infinitely, just always collecting resources. Um, which is why I built the the rail. The railing around so we don't get accidentally get hit by the train I don't think we can actually get hit by the train as in you know die by getting hit by the train but still it looks good I think it all looks really cool so far yes these uh, these little things here so we don't fall down on accident when the train is coming in <laughs> um, so yeah and this is where I have my plastic. Um, I made this smart splitter. Uh, basically, the overflow goes in the middle and plastic goes left and right. So on the right, we have production of the empty canisters, which we use together with some of this um, fuel to make packaged fuel. As you can see, we have a lot of packaged fuel, so I can just boost around as much as I want with my jetpack, which is nice. Eventually, we will be getting the electric jetpack, whatever it's called, which will allow us to simply fly around as we want, which will be really neat. Um, but for now, this is the best we've got. Um, so yeah, that's about what I have in progress. Um, I'll keep working on it. Uh, I did have an idea to turn it all on so we could see the stuff going, but I decided against it because, I mean... It would probably be better to finish the next line of stuff uh, before that. So next time, next time I make a video, I'll probably have built, uh, finished the second station around here, and the other station that it's gonna go back and forth to, and we'll probably be making stuff with the stuff that we'll be making here, and uh, sending it up to the top layer. That's basically the goal at the moment. And uh, yeah, we'll probably put up some more lamps because it's really nice to have just lights here. Uh, overnight. I did research that we can actually make uh, something called uh, what, 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 yeah, light control panel. Controls all lights connected to the power grid attached to the light power connector. So we might use that to turn on and off the lights depending on whether or not it's day or night. We'll see. Could be cool. Could be uh, cool to be able to mess around with the lights a bit. We'll see. Uh, for now, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, this It's taking so long to build. Um, let's see here. Yeah, 98 hours. I'm almost at a 100-hour mark. <laughs> We're getting there. It is a big build, but it's looking really good. I'm trying to make it look as good as I can. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. So, uh, yeah, I, I will probably use more of this water, uh, build underneath the, the plate, move it around, use it for more. Uh, the only downside right now is uh, this. We have this. Uh, the idea is to build the railroad right here, but that's the one the furthest to the right, so there would be more over to the left. We'll see. I might uh, build downwards 
here so that we can build under the pipes. We'll see what happens, really. It's it's a it's a big old mess, all of it. But it's looking good. <laughs> and we're progressing. It's great. I am kind of worried about the frame rates, though. The, uh, <laughs> the autosave function. I might be forced to quit the project eventually because it's just so huge that my computer just can't keep up. We'll see, we'll see. Until then, though, I'll keep building. <laughs> I'll keep going. Right, for now, thanks for watching, and yeah, have a nice day.